So at High West Distillery, we're a bit of a different distillery uh, than most distilleries out there. We like to do a lot of blending. So we create very complex blends using lots of different types of recipes in the blend. So it could be a, a bourbon mixed with a rye, mixed with a peated scotch whiskey, different ages, different recipes of whiskeys, all blended together to get a very complex and round character, delicious whiskey. Brendan and I work very closely together with our new product development blends and maintenance for our current blends. It's amazing sometimes we'll spend weeks upon weeks trying to get the exact right blend to get the flavor profile that we're looking for. And sometimes even the smallest percentage of a change can make the biggest difference. With that, we do a lot of different blending trials throughout the year to kind of maintain those blends. As we come off of one whiskey lot onto the next whiskey lot from year to year, there's always a slight difference in character and flavor profile of that whiskey lot. So we have to kind of slowly modify these blends year in and year out to get that same consistent flavor profile for that product. When we're conducting our new blend sensory, whether it's for new product development or blend maintenance of an existing product, we are typically comparing several possible variations of that blend to a control, to the current blend, or to the most recent blend, in order to determine if our prospective blends are within the range of our desired taste profile. So we have two production facilities at High West. Really it all started in Old Town Park City, where we have our 250 gallon uh, Bavarian Holstein copper pot still. It's a beautiful hand hammered custom copper pot still. That's really where we started all our recipes on. And now it's really transitioned into the R&D still because we've scaled up and we now have a 1500 gallon copper pot still at our distillery in Wanship. So we make a variety of different whiskeys on our production pot still. So our production process here is a very traditional production process in the whiskey world. It starts off in a traditional manner where we bring in the grains, mill those grains, combine them with water, and we create a mash, which is basically the consistency of a very thin oatmeal. And in that mash, we're extracting starches, converting those starches to sugars, and creating a very sweet mash so we can then move into fermentation, because in fermentation, the yeast ferments sweet sugars, not starch. All these sugars get fermented. They turn into carbon dioxide and ethanol. The ethanol is obviously what we're interested in. And at the end of that fermentation, which lasts about three days, we have a 7.5 to 8% alcohol by volume beer. And really the only difference between this beer that we make to distill into a beautiful whiskey uh, versus the beer you drink on the tap, for instance, is there's no hops in our process and we leave the grain in through the entire process so we don't filter that grain out. And really after that three day fermentation we move it right to distillation, the fresher the better. And over about a six to eight hour period we distill that beer into a rye whiskey or bourbon and then it goes away to maturation for two, 10, 15 plus years, really depending on what blend it's destined for in the end. So once we're done with distilling, we then have what's called a spent beer. And that's basically the beer once we're finished distilling with it. So we've taken all the alcohol out, a little bit of the water, a lot of the flavor and aroma, and then we pump that out to awaiting trucks. It gets trucked off to the local farms, and we have this great partnership where they feed it to their cows, and so it really kind of completes the circle for us, investing back into our local community.